G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up and replacing the thermal paste on an RTX 2060 Super out of a HP laptop. Now, here's the HP's part number over here. I haven't really seen anything that mentions what particular model this is, but going by the device that it came out of, I'd say this is a relatively low wattage model. To get into it, we're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver. We we'll also want some isopropyl alcohol, some tissue paper, and some thermal paste to replace that with. So to get in here, we've got these four screws. Should be pretty straightforward. But also, this being relatively low wattage, the HP machine that this came out of was only a 400 watt power supply. So extremely low power usage, or, or just power, <laughs> power volume. If it was a higher wattage, we could have a higher wattage card, which would in turn mean better gaming performance. Those four screws out. I don't believe there's any extra that I can see. So I think we should just be able to twist and lift. There we go. Up and fold. And as you can see there, we are relatively dry. I'm gonna leave these two cables attached. I'll start by cleaning the cooler itself. So on the cooler, I'll put some isopropyl alcohol. You can use Windex, orange cleaner, an alcohol wipe, baby wipe, whatever. As long as it cleans it to a satisfactory level. As long as it doesn't leave any residue afterwards. Okay. Sure what's going on over here, that's not thermal paste, that seems to be more tape. But this die section here needs to be clean. Move this over. Focus on the chip over here. I should just be able to wipe over it. Now just put a little bit more down. I'm about 90% happy with that. That should be more than enough. Next up, thermal paste. And here's where the internet will tell me I'm doing it wrong. I tend to just put a little in the center. Actually, stuff not yet. No, I won't be using my MX4. I'm out. Nope. So we'll use some Arctic Silver 5, if you can see that in the reflection. From round two. Oh, that's going to be better. That should do it. Next up, what I like to do is fold this back over this way, and then I see the holes here, and I can line it up slowly as I put it down. go, push it down, the thermal paste should attach and just keep, kind of keep it stuck there. Now I like to loosely put these screws in to begin with. Go. And now I'll go a bit tighter, go diagonal. frame sorry about that and with that that's just, uh, that combined with a dust blowout which I did prior to the video should certainly help this 2060 super run a bit cooler and run a bit better hope this helps and I'll see you guys later bye